Hi, this is Julie with Three Sister Sundries. Yesterday, my sister and I went to our Creative Reuse Center, um, their warehouse. They had a warehouse sale, and it was really fun. I tried to resist but um, and just not go, but I went anyway and thought, well, if I see anything that just really jumps out at me, I will get it. But a lot of things jumped out at me, so I'm going to... So let's get started. Um, first of all, they just had bags, and they had different colors of bags, and um, you could fit as much in the bags as you could. And then, like these gray bags were $5 for everything that you could fit in them. These pink bags were also $5 for everything you could fit in them. And then they had little blue bags that were... Uh, three dollars for everything you could fit in them so um, and then they had bigger things that were just priced um, by the item uh, let me just get everything out of my big bag here and then kind of odds and ends that were priced um, individually so um, I'll start with those uh, we found this giant post-it note paper it's 12 by 12 and oh sorry 11 by 11 and there's 30 sheets and it's completely post-it so it's called a big pad don't know what I'm gonna do with it but it's good for masking when you're doing stamping and stuff so I got that um, another individual thing I saw this when I went up to the register and I paid a quarter for that it's just a little embroidered heart with some flowers in it and then another thing that um, I bought just individually was just some picture hangers. Um, we recently remodeled our living room and I kind of was short of picture, hang picture hangers when um, I went to hang up everything. So I just got those and those were a quarter. Um, and then at the checkout after we paid they gave us a freebie. So I chose this card kit. Um, it's a oh it's a project life kit by Stampin' Up. Anyway, um, looks more like cards, but I haven't opened it to look at it, but anyway. So it looks like it has some stickers and some little little cards and some washi and some bling. And uh, anyway, so I thought that was cute. Picked that up, so that was free. Okay, let's start with the gray bag. That's kind of all my bulkier items. And all this I was able to fit in this gray bag. So first of all, the most exciting thing I found was glassine bags. Um, I don't know how many are in here, but I have been looking for glassine bags and short of ordering them on Etsy, um, I haven't really been able to find real glassine bags um, to buy at a decent price. So I was really excited to find these. Even though they're craft color instead of white, um, I'm excited to have those. Um, this whole box of wooden scrap pieces, and I just went through it, and there are there are hearts, and there are lots of circles, and there are there's this cute little skeleton, a couple of hands. Um, this is a chipboard piece that's a watch. Um, there's some birds. There's rectangles. Um, Anyway, lots of just random little shapes. This um, key, oh, it looks like it's been cut off a little bit, so that could be used on the edge of a paper. But anyway, it has a has an etched design on it also. And anyway, so most of it's wood, but there are a couple of chipboard pieces in there. Anyway, I thought that was kind of fun. We'll see what we can do with that. I just picked up a little bag of artist training cards. They're craft color. There's 20 cards in there. Um, these cute fall patches that um, I'm going to do. I have a project in mind for these, so hopefully I'll get to it before fall's over. And then this cute little, um, I guess this is like a paper mache. It's a little box that looks like a book. I thought that was really cute. So maybe I'll make a Christmas project or something out of that. I don't know. Okay, so let's dive in. Okay, here's the rest of what fit this big edge punch so remember this bag was five dollars for everything that has fit so 
this cute scallop punch. They had several other um, edge punches, but this was the one I liked the best, so that's the one I put in. Um, some little metal tags. It looks like there are uh, maybe just one of each, but anyway, maybe there are two. Uh, it's hard to tell. Might just be one. Anyway, um, those are cute. Um, oh, these are just magnets. I have a magnet project board to um, like magnet my scrapbook pages to when I'm working on them, so I thought those would be good for extra magnets. These are micro beads. This is a big container of micro beads. Anyway, that's a pretty color. Just picked up a couple of packages of little spools. Um, I got just some ribbon trim. Uh, these cute doilies that have a spider in them. There's black and white and orange in there. So anyway, those are cute for Halloween project. Um, just some little straight pins with little decorations on them. Some leaves, and these are paper. Paper leaves by Amy Tangerine. And some doodle bug alphabets. I love doodle bugs, so anything that's doodle bug, I pick it up. And this cute decorative trim, but it also has these little paper bunnies. Six little paper bunnies on here with this cute polka dot ribbon and the little mini rick rack. I don't know what I'll do with those, but they're cute. And uh, just some brown polka dot ribbon that I thought would go good with my fall project. Okay, so all of that was $5. Um, let's move on to the blue bags. These were each $3, but in this bag I only fit two things, but they are both giant background stamps. And these are like, I don't know, $15 a piece, you know, $12 to $15 a piece. And I got both of them for $3. So I got this wood grain and a like newspaper text. Love them. I can't wait to use them. And they're brand new. They've never been used. So excited about those. And in this bag, um, the blue items were mostly stamps and glitter and that kind of thing. So I found this other background stamp that to me looks kind of like a Tim Holtz. I don't know if it is or not, but it's just kind of a crackled paint finish. It is also brand new, never been used. Um, I got a an Amy Tangerine roller stamp um, that just has some really basic words, has the date you can do um, on my list, so good, together, notice, all that kind of stuff. Got another um, roller stamp by Seven Gypsies that is basically... Um, uh, inspirational words like hope, believe, wish, dream, divine, that kind of thing. Uh, I got this little finial stamp. thought that was cute. Might be good for junk journals. And they had several of these. This is also a brand new stamp. It is... Uh, I can't see who it's by. American Craft. Anyway, it's a like just a calendar with all the months around the edge and all the numbers in the middle. Um, I also just picked up these little Brad jackets, they're called, and just little little kind of yellow-orange flowers. I thought those were cute. And these little decorative Brads by American Craft. Um, happy birthday collection. I just thought those... I loved that little candy stripe. That is the main reason I got these. So cute. And these little... Are these... These are buttons. Oh yeah, I can see the string through them. Anyway, I liked them because they're kind of Christmas colors and they look like snowflakes, so those are cute. And then I got some Wow Glitter. Um, it's just a color I don't have. I like that lighter green, so that'll, that'll be good for Christmas projects too. And then I just threw in these restickable um, mini tabs. So says you can use them again and again, and it has 108 in there. So anyway, all that was $6 for all those 
all those things. Now let's get to the pink bag. This trim was in the top here. So anyway, cute ball fringe. I mean, look at that cute red and white. That is so adorable. I love that. And then just some plain white. And I got this little ruffly lavender trim. They had some pink, a big, big blob of pink too that I really liked, but um, I already have some kind of pink ruffly trim and I kind of wanted this color for a specific project. So um, they also had this big box full, stuffed full of these tags. And I probably should have gone back for more, but I, I got enough to do um, my tag challenge for the lolly jolly challenge and some extras for junk journaling but they just have um yeah they are not in english i don't know what they say but anyway just like a little ledger kind of thing and uh month months anyway love those they also had a box of um like sewing notions and stuff so I picked up this card of buttons. There's not very many left, but they're just tiny and cute. But I loved the package on this one. So I will very carefully try and get that sticker off. And I'm planning a sewing junk journal. So I'm going to put the, that in that one. And then I just picked up this um, kind of turquoise seam tape. And then this pretty lavender seam binding that will go with that project too and then in one of the bins I found this cute little trim it's kind of pastel rainbow colors anyway it's just really thin cute sparkly trim and then they had a box of little cards and envelopes so I got some green ones that have kind of a stamp the front of the card is kind of a stamp edge around it and then these black ones that have, I know you can't see it, but they have the scallop edge like that. Um, let's see. And then, oh, and then they have these little mini file folders. Um, they don't come with envelopes. They're just mini file folders. Look how cute. And there's several different colors. There's white, blue, orange, green, and pink. Anyway, I thought those were cute. And I got some purple velvet ribbon that's really pretty. And this is letterpress paper, um, just thick letterpress paper um, in A2 size. So I thought I could cut those in half and use those for passbook stamps. And I'm doing a passbook stamp challenge too. Those are really thick, so I don't know. Anyway, um, so we'll see if those work out. Uh, and I just picked up some oval tags. Um, they're by Basil. And there's three of them. They're really thick chipboard tags. And they had... I don't know how this is supposed to work, but I just like the package. This envelope of dye. It's peach color. And I'm not exactly sure. I will have to read the directions and see, but... Except I think that Oh yeah, they are. Um, anyway, I really just like the envelope, so that's why I got that. Um, I'm going to do these ones last. And they had some stamps that we could put in this bag too. So I've seen these before at Tuesday morning and kind of thought they looked kind of fun. But they are layering stamps. Um, they have to be mounted on an acrylic block or something. Maybe I can use them in my stamp platform. They're really thin. So we'll see if they work in that. But um, anyway, they are, this is a camera. And then here is a flower. And I think my sister picked up the bird of this, of this kind. Um, up by the register, they had this bin full of these amazing Asian style bits and bobs. And so we picked up a bunch of those. So... First of all, they had these little envelopes. I guess they're envelopes rather than bags. It looks like that would fold over with maybe some adhesive, but look at that 
beautiful design. They are so pretty. And then they had a whole bunch of these little tissue circles that are scalloped. And I don't know if that's a calendar or just what, but I picked up a couple of yellow ones and then this bright pink one. Ooh, that is really bright. And then they had a couple of card. They had just just a few of these little playing cards. Um, so my sister and I split those. And they had these beautiful, I don't know. Oh, you know what I just realized? We picked up these papers, but that's what's underneath this. This must be a big stamp, this red design here. And then it looks like they've brushed over it with some yellow paint. Anyway, I just realized that. So anyway, I picked up a plain, plain one with just this kind of silver, I don't know, paint or something on it. And then I picked up a couple of these. They are just beautiful. Anyway, thought those were gorgeous. And then I found these little um, good luck. Uh, they were embroidered or I don't know. Uh, I don't know what they call those. I'm trying to think. Can't think of the word. You're probably yelling it at me. Anyway, um, they're embroidered. Anyway, so they're gold thread. And then there was this little uh, book, or this little kit. It's not really a kit. It looks like it's a thank you. It says, Saint, thank you for your swift payment from Saigon Ron. And it's a little package of jasmine tea. Looks like there's a couple of bags in there. And this beautiful label. Anyway, and I love the little card. So cute. And then some money. I'm assuming this is play money, fake money, but they had uh, quite a large stack of this, so we picked up a few of those. And then this is not really Asian, but they had a whole, they whole, had a whole box of these um, little cards. It says, step into a story. So we picked up a couple of those. And then these are tissue and I'm not sure exactly what they are for, but they are gorgeous. I don't know if you can see the picture of the people on there. Maybe on that side. Anyway, gorgeous picture on there. And then they had these small yellow ones. And these have holes in them. I'm not sure exactly. Almost looks like a dart game or something. I'm not sure. Or maybe a shooting target. I don't know, but it's pretty. Anyway, so that is what I got. So everything that I picked up came to $17.50 for all of this. I couldn't believe it. Um, and then they gave us a freebie on top of it. So um, the Creative Reuse Center is called Clever Octopus. Um, I don't know how often they have this sale. It's in Salt Lake City. Um, anyway, I will leave a link in the description for for their store. Um, they have a store in Murray that's open every day and often they have a freebie Friday and maybe that's why we got a freebie yesterday because it was Friday. Um, but anyway, I am very happy with what I got. Now I just have to try and fit it into my stash. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching.